All right, what you see here is a Hampton Bay Whittleton ceiling fan. I'm going to call it the Hampton Bay Whittleton only because I still consider it a Hampton Bay fan since it's sold, sold at Home Depot exclusively. It's just nowadays they have them as unbranded. But at the end of the day, they are a Home Depot fan, so I still consider it a Hampton Bay. But since I know people are going to say it's not, I'm just going to have it in the title as in quotations. This fan I got recently at Home Depot for my aunt's hallway. I was gonna put something smaller, but I figured if it's just something to move some circulate the air, it doesn't need to really move a lot of air, it just needs to circulate the air altogether. So I figured I might as well get this. I'm gonna have it installed exactly where you see it here. Um, this one actually came off a box that was pretty damaged, has damage on the side. And some moisture got into it a little bit. So as you can see, the screws aren't super shiny like they would have been. With the chrome there, kind of faded a bit. And then there's this one here and the other one that's the chrome plating on it kind of, as you can see, got a little bit rusted. The fan itself runs fine, but um, some of the blade arms are a bit scuffed as well. But I really don't care. It's just for the, my aunt's hallway. I was going to go with the Harvey's Armitage, a newer one, instead of the Littleton. But I figured this would be better for the fact that it's gloss white and not matte white. And the reason why is because matte white would definitely get dirtier over time. And it's harder to keep that clean compared to gloss white and such. And I got to say, compared to the Aircon one I tested here last... This is definitely a, a huge downgrade in quality. Blade arms can snap a lot easier. Still looks nice in my opinion. Um, it's just a lot cheaper quality. I still need to test the other Wilton's that I have. Um, the other one that's the same era as this one basically that I got during, back in 2020. And the um, 2000s era one, the black SMC motored ones that I have. The SMC one of the non-integrated white kit. But um, since this one I want to just get installed in right away, I figured I'd get this one tested. There it is with the light. This fan, as of today, costs about, like in my area, about $42, which I think it's extremely expensive for a fan of this quality. I remember back when I was a kid, they were like 20 to like $20. And then slowly they went up to like $24. And then little by little, they went up to like 27 to $28. When I got the one from 2020, that was like 20 ish, 27 ish dollars. I think it was. And then over this past year, they jumped up to like $32 or $30, $31, $32, 37. And then as of right now, Oh, um, before I picked this one up, it was $39, but now it's $42. So within a, not even a year, it's jumped up like a, a good $12, I'd say, in price. Now, I would have picked up a used one, but since it's for my aunt, I honestly don't mind paying the money just to put it in her hallway. Um, and like, she t like I said, she only needs something just to move some air around. It's just a hallway fan, so it's not like it needs some to be something that really cools the space down if anything there's, there's birds in that area so she doesn't want something too strong but it's just to move the air around that's literally all it's going to be for it's not like people are going to spend time in that hallway because it's a hallway so um yeah and plus it's going to be kind of like where the birds are so it's going to get kind of dirty-ish anyway so i figured maybe just put up this And I know the matte white one will get dirty over time, and that's just a hard fan to really keep clean. Once it gets dirty, it kind of smudges all over it. All right, let's go ahead and start it off on low. It does have a little bit of a hum to it, but it's nothing major. Now, I'm not sure how bad the hum is from upstairs. Um, this is made by SMC. 
just the motor design, just not the motor housing, but the motor design itself is just a little bit different. And as I, to my surprise, well, as I'm not surprised, I meant to say, the weight arms are a tiny bit out of whack. Now what I'm thinking of, like for my aunt's sewing room, not another Wilton like this, but maybe like an older one, like an air cool version. Cause I've been thinking of putting something bigger in there, but with a forearm away, but I feel like it would hang well. So I feel like another little temple, just like an older version from the 90s, that's an air cool one, would be a better choice for that room. So if I like the air cool ones, I'm not gonna give up the one I have, you know, from a, they have been showing up quite recently on my marketplace around me, so. There is one that's actually kind of close by for like 15 bucks that I'm probably gonna grab and use that for the sewing room. But um, yeah, I mean, for low speed, it moves deep, very gentle air. But like I want to be a bad air, like fan to use in the hallway, like I said. Oops. Here's the light. Despite these being very flimsy fans, I do like them. And I do feel like they can be useful in certain applications. So, like, if you just need literally something just to circulate air, not really something that will cool you down 100%, then this will be an all right fan. But with the price they are now, you're better off trying to find one cheaper. Something I do like with this one is that I don't think the one that I have from 2020 has is that the mounting bracket has like a lot more cushioning areas. So like for the housing, there's like right where you mount the screws for the housing, there's like like padding there and such. Obviously it doesn't really seem to be doing much, but at least it has that. A reason why I feel like it would be nice to see this in my aunt's place is because it's there were a few houses down from where my grandmother lived and she used to have the mainstays, not mainstays, on the home trims hugger in her bedroom. So to have one like this nearby my grandmother's old house will kind of bring back memories. No, thing I just had to keep an eye on is the blade arms. If they get busted over time, just swap them out with other ones. On the medium speed, it's not really loud with the hum. It's, it's worse on the low speed. But it does have a bit of a wobble. Again, no, it's not a, against the ceiling, so that's another reason. But again, it's for a hallway, so I really don't think it's gonna matter. If it was in the bedroom, that's a different story. Let's say scenario, if I bought a center that much, I can just buy a replacement set of blade arms for this. If anything, they'd probably be better quality than the blade arms this fan has anyways. One thing is I'm just not sure if it would fit the blades or not, but yeah. Problem is that they do get hit, this to bend them back is, probably gonna, they'll probably snap either way, so it's not really even worth trying to bend the blade arms back into alignment. But they're just so thin, metal. Like if I had a walk-in closet that was big enough for something like this, I'd consider it, but probably not this era of the Wilton, probably like an older one. 
like the air cooled one, I definitely would consider for her to walk in the closet if I had one that was big enough for, for a 42 inch fan. This is like something I'd like use in a basement or a garage where I really could care less of it getting dirty and all that. I remember the one from 2020 I bought specifically for the storage unit, but then I think once I moved into the space and realized how hot it was, I realized the lotion was not going to cut it. I had to get something stronger, and that's when I ended up getting the Maker Mesos. And I'm definitely glad I didn't because the other thing I realized is since these fans are known for having a hum to them, the SMC ones, having that with the, ba the car battery that powers up the fans there, I know would make a really annoying sound compared to what the, the Make Air Mesas do, which are pretty quiet, so. So this hunting sound added on to the car battery with the power inverter, that would definitely not be a good combination. Now this seeing this, it really does remind me of the main, that home trends hugger, the 42 inch one that my grandmother had, which I have a new inbox one, which that would, I definitely need to test as well. And by the time this video goes out, it's probably already been tested and posted. The fan is actually from 2021, so it's a little bit over a year old. I mean, it is pretty warm out. It's like in the high 70s, low 80s all day, so. high now it definitely doesn't it doesn't go anywhere near as fast as the air cool version but it's not bad for a high speed and for a 42 inch fan it is kind of on a it's not that impressive of a high speed but it's, I feel like this like if it was on a four speed wall control I feel like this would be like a medium high speed if it was to produce one, but it's really the high speed. But it doesn't go super slow at least, which is a good thing. I do remember when I moved out of this basement and originally thought I was going to keep having any fans like be able to do testing down here. I was thinking of leaving one of these down here just for whoever works down here can use it just to have some air movement. I know I said that it wasn't worth it because nobody really goes down here, which is true. Plus, of how easy it would get broken down here. If, like, if they had to swap something with the blade arms being super flimsy in the class, probably would just be more out of the way, if anything. Like I said, I remember when I was a kid, I always really liked these and I always wanted one. Now I don't really, don't really have that feeling for them anymore, obviously, but they are fan out of pretty big childhood fans. And I am glad that they still sell them to this day, although they are a little bit different with the smaller motor housing. I wish it's still one of the few fans that they sold from home, at Home Depot when I was a kid that's still being sold. And also in a way, it's actually the longest the fan that they've sold for the longest time too and hasn't been discontinued. Air movements, okay. It's not amazing, it's not, I've, I will say I've had, I have tested fans that move less air than this on a high speed that are 42 inches, so. I'm not going to say it's the worst air mover, but it's definitely not the best. But for someone who really doesn't care for air movement, it's all right. It's not really amazing, but I can honestly wouldn't really be bad for a small bedroom with AC. 
but it also depends how much air movement a person would like. Like th for someone who just needs something that moves some air in a bedroom at night, this honestly would not be a bad fan. So if you can get one that's not noisy, that's the tricky part. I gotta say, it does actually move a little bit more there than I expected it to. I thought it was gonna move barely anything, but it does move a breeze on high speed. Nothing amazing. It's nowhere near as much air as the air cool version moves, but I mean, for a hallway, this will definitely be perfect. This is something I'd even put like in a bathroom. The only problem is it's not strong enough. If it was a stronger fan, I definitely would like put this in the bathroom, not caring how it would hold up and such. Yeah, just seeing this fan run really reminds me so much of the um that home trans hugger in my grandma's bedroom at her old place before the um, Hampton Bay Clarkson went up. More so with the light on, because I usually would see it running at night with the light on. But um, the other thing is this fan would definitely be helpful in that hallway because it's where the piano room is, there's no heat in that area in the winter. So, in that back area, there's really nothing that circulates the heat. So having this on reverse in order to time definitely will help out like move around the heat in the house. But there's a kitchen fan, there's now the hallway fan, sewing room f f fan upstairs and I did find a fan recently that my aunt did agree to put in the living room. So there will be a fan going in the living room again if I can get that fan. It's a new one, but it's one that I know she'll like. Enough to let me swap out that Tiffany lamp. I will say it's not a Tiffany ceiling fan, but I'm not gonna say what it is specifically. But you know, it really isn't that bad of an air mover, like, compared to what I was expecting out of it, but... Like, if you could find one that's cheap enough, they definitely wouldn't, aren't a bad replacement sock fan, like... Like, this is not something I would use in a kitchen. It would not really do the job in there. A guest room. Like, if I had to sleep in, overnight in somebody's place and use something like this, and it's actually quiet like this one is on high speed. I wouldn't mind it, but I would definitely would prefer something stronger. I gotta say though, I do wish I went a bit faster, but at least it moves it moves a decent amount of air on high speed. Now for the air mover, I can definitely say it's an okay, it is an okay air mover. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. The quality on it though, it's horrible. It's definitely a flimsy fan. I, mean, I know the SMC ones from the 2000 era were definitely more, a bit more solid than this with the large, larger motor housings. The funniest thing is, despite how much bad reputation this fan has within the community, it's not often that I actually see these failing out in the wild. Like, yeah, they're no they can be noisy over time or in j from the start, but the SMC ones, but um, I really don't see that many of them like failing to work over periods of time. I mean, Compared to like the San Marinos from Hampton Bay, the Carousel 2s, which is the same thing. There's some other ones, but like, I really don't see that many of these failing from, from back then. And there's newer ones I don't really see out in the wild that much anyways.
funny. I do feel like the Wellington I got from Brandon a while back, the one I painted in the rainbow finish, moved one a bit faster than this. That one I actually have just repainted white. But it would be good to retest that one and see how it does compared to this type. I'll reverse it. See, like, I was thinking of putting, like, a Westinghouse Petite in that hallway, buying one new and putting it there. But the thing is, let's say a blade arm or something gets broken up, like, a blade arm gets broken on it. To get a replacement blade arm for it, or blade, will be a lot more tricky. Whereas for something like this, it'd be a lot easier to get. So that's the other reason why I'm going for this for the hallway. Highly doubt it, but you never know. I mean, it's like in a hallway that's kind of close to the hall. The, it's the hallway that has those clouds, and it's not upstairs hallway. It's just the one right before the, um, what is it, the piano room. There's a master bath down there, too. So this is a pretty, it's just such a nice house. I feel like you could definitely use some more installs, even though I'm not going to put anything really special in there. Just having a few extra installs will be, will be definitely make it a bit neater. I was thinking of painting the motor in this black just to make it look more vintage, but I really don't feel like it's worth it. If I was to do that, I'd rather do it on one that I'm actually keeping for myself. Since by the time I get this put up there, well, maybe, hopefully it's by tomorrow. But by the time this is put up, it will, you know, I get a video out of it. It will probably be going into like the fall time or winterish time. Because of me going out to school soon, it'll be a bit, be a bit more busy and such. I mean, it's midsummer right now. And such so but funny because when I first started on the high speed I thought it was like on a medium of speed but it does seem to be going a bit faster though and I feel like maybe just the bearings weren't or not uh, like a bit more stiff because it was the first time it, it ran but it seems to be loosening up a bit now and I've ran it for a bit First fan I gave her the Oakhurst, now I'm giving her this one. Probably give her another little tin, but an older version for the upstairs area. And a Tiffany fan of sorts for the living room. So, um, yeah, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.